Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Adams, Education Manager for Central Square Theatre. Youth Underground is CST's award-winning education program. Each season, we work with young folks from ages 13 to 25 to create, rehearse, and perform a new play about a social justice issue that's affecting their community. After two years of development, we rolled out our most ambitious play yet, Act Up and Vote. Act Up and Vote speaks directly to the perspective of young voters, helps them understand how government works and why their vote matters. In the fall, we will return to finish the tour and bring to you the Act Up and Vote Festival at CST, a week of performances, student workshops, and community conversations moderated by civic experts, community and political leaders. Thank you for supporting this work, for keeping it going, because we will be back and stronger than ever. And now for a few scenes from Act Up and Vote. Enjoy. My father was sent to prison for five years for a minor nonviolent crime. I mean, he was just 18 at the wrong place at the wrong time. He now's the, the director of a job training program that serves underserved youth. His organization wins a bunch of awards, but just because of that felony record, he doesn't have the ability to vote. After I finish law school, I'm going to overturn those laws that deny citizens the right to vote. Me and three other people chained ourselves with bike locks, with three bike locks, to the front door of City Hall at five in the morning. It's about that feeling that a small local action is connected to something bigger. Mm -hmm. Voting in every election, going to protests, boycotting companies. I'm waiting for my moment to change the world. Running to work is my baseline. If I don't do anything else, at least I run to work but I also try to figure out other ways to keep me healthy. Same with voting. Voting is your baseline. So co-Congressman Lewis, I'm not asking any of you to give blood. I'm just asking you to go out and vote like you've never voted before. People who marched in the civil rights era for the right to vote were attacked by police dogs, sprayed with tear gas, beaten with billy clubs. No disrespect, Michelle, but the saying, they go low, we go high, it just doesn't clap back hard enough. Mm. Well, how about this? When they go, we go vote. Keeping it real though, only 19% of our generation voted in the 2016 presidential election. I guess the good news is that number actually doubled in the midterm election. Oh, okay. Woo. Whoa, hold up, hold up. <laughs> the bad news is, is that 38% is not exactly rocking the vote. Mm, just saying, it will ultimately be up to our generation to be the real game changers in 2020. It's our time. Claim your space. Make some noise. Act up and vote. 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 vote.